if you had to reach for a particular member of the Hogwarts faculty? Well, it's a bit of a cross between a, a bit of a cross between a Dumbledore and a Professor McGonagall, actually, with that combination of sort of wisdom and gravitas. But I'm not sure whether that's what everybody else would have picked. <laughs> He sounds a little bit like Professor Snape. Oh, that is totally unfair. That would I would definitely have not heard of Mr. Snape. The kids tell me I'm I'm apparently very much like Professor Snape. But apparently, I even sound like him. Maybe, maybe with his voice sometimes. If I start to disapprove, apparently, the kids think I'm exactly like him. So I'm never quite sure how to take that. I can't think of the last time I had to deal with a behaviour issue from one of his lessons. The bounty you've sold the top two. Particularly at A level, you can actually rely on some of the people like Michael and Noah used to actually help other people in the room, which actually makes my life simpler, of course, because I can help the kids who are struggling a bit. When you succeed, or if there's something you understand, being humble about it and endeavouring to help others that maybe don't understand it, but not in a way that makes you seem superior. I think that's the most important thing that I got from him. I don't think he works that hard. I think he enjoys it, and that's great because we're learning as well and he's just having the time of his life. I should have retired by now and the only reason I do this is because I get such a buzz when you do actually achieve something and it's the kids that achieve it but somehow you sort of feel like you know you've been part of that. A year ago today I would have no idea that I would be sitting in this chair and speaking to you about how I got into Oxford University and I can't, I can't thank him enough. I did laugh when I opened the envelope because the, two years ago another of our maths departments was nominated for and received an inspirational teacher award. Um, how long have we worked together? About 30 years. Okay. So she'd always have a bit of a joke that she'd been awarded this inspirational teacher award and he hadn't. Maybe the rivalry between uh, Mrs Humphrey and Mr Marks will soften a bit after this award I think. For what it's worth by the way I'm, I'm told all the children that as I had two nominations mine is far better. I think the fact that you can have this award coming here twice sort of says something about the way the department works and you know, how we encourage people to really help children down here.